Welcome back, fourth and fifth grade scholars, to your second online rhythm lesson. If you notice, this does look a little bit familiar. It is a portion of last week's rhythm lesson. We're going to be doing something a little different with it today. And we're going to be working with this same one again next week, but we're going to be doing something completely different with it. But I think, I think you're really going to dig it. So let's take a look at what we're working with this week. 4-4 four, four time signature, top number tells us that we're going to be dealing with four beats in each measure. Those beats or those measures are going to be made up of four sixteenth notes connected with a double bar, two eighth notes connected with a single bar, quarter notes, quarter rests, and four eighth notes connected with a single bar. Try not to get those mixed up with the sixteenth notes. Notice the difference. It is subtle, but it is there. Sixteenth notes, four of them are connected with double bars. Four eighth notes are connected with a single bar. So let's tackle this first measure. One e and uh, two and three count. One e and uh, two and three. All right. Did you uh, remember to be silent on that rest? It's important. We got to count that nice and loud in our brains and make sure that we don't make any sound on the quarter rest. Let's practice again. Red D and uh, count. One E and uh, two and three. Good. Ready uh, again. One E and uh, two and three. Nice. What do you notice about this second measure? That's right. It is exactly the same as the first measure, which means we already know it. So let's put the first two together. Red D and uh, count. One E and uh, two and three. One E and uh, two and three. Nice, let's do it again and make sure those rests are silent. Red D and uh, count. One E and uh, two and three. One E and uh, two and three. Nice. Always remember to look for these patterns. Most of the time you look at a song, you're going to find things that repeat. And when we notice those patterns, it makes things easier for us. It makes the music easier to understand. Third measure. It's going to go one and two and three and four. Four. Let's do that together. Ready? Count. One and two and three and four. Ready? Again. One and two and three and four. All right, you got that. Let's put that together with our first two measures. From the beginning. Ready and count. One e and two and three. One E and a two and three. One and two and three and four. Good job. Let's practice that again. Red D and a count. One E and a two and three. One E and a two and three. One and Two and three and four. Nice. So this last measure, you'll notice, uh, so some of you probably already figured this out because you were looking for those patterns, is the same as the second and first measure. We already know it. So now let's try the entire thing. One E and two and ready. Count. One E and uh, two and three. One E and uh, two and three. One and two and three and four. One E and uh, two and three. Nice.
This time I want you to count it and play it on your legs at the same time. Ready and play. One E and a two and three. One E and a two and three. One and two and three and four. One E and a two and three. Nice. All right. Now, your task when I'm done talking is to pause the video and practice this song, this little rhythm song, until you really know it. And then I want you to find an adult in your house or an older brother or sister, <clears throat> and I want you to teach them this. Now, you're gonna have to be gentle with them because, especially if it's your mom and dad, they may not have done any music stuff like this since they were in elementary school. And this could be really hard for them. So you know, be gentle with them. Don't, uh, don't get too frustrated with them if they don't get it right away. Be patient and really try to explain it. You know, if they don't get it, just keep modeling. Keep going one E and a two and three. And you can take it, you know, slow it down if they're not understanding. One E and a two and three. Okay, and explain it the way I explained it to you guys, and you're gonna do great. And if they only get one measure, that's okay, especially if they only get the first measure, because if they get the first measure, they have pretty much the whole song, right? Because it's the same as the second and the same as the fourth. So if you focus on first measure and the third measure, they've got the entire song. Now, if you can get that far, if they can play a single measure, or the entire thing, then I want you to play it together with them. And maybe even on different surfaces. So if you teach it to your dad, your dad could play the rhythm on the coffee table and you could play the rhythm on the chair and you could see how it sounds with those two different surfaces sounding together. All right, and most of all, have fun with it. You're creating music. Find the craziest things that you can play the rhythm on to make it sound super cool. And next week we're gonna be doing another experiment with this rhythm, but playing it a little bit differently. And next time I'm gonna to have to um, do a video so you can actually see me, because in order to do this next experiment, um, you're gonna to need to see it. So definitely practice this because this will help you with next week's lesson too. And until you hear from me again, take care of yourselves, take care of others, take care of your learning, and stay safe. Bye-bye.